Hi, I'm Alistair, one of the tech support team here. We thought we'd put together some unboxing videos for you so you could see a little bit more detail about the different parts of the Genius Hub. So we're going to start right away with the Genius Hub itself and go through all the details of that. So the Genius Hub connects to your internet router. It uses a cable that is supplied in the accessories pack. So you plug one end of the cable into your internet router and the other end into the back of the Genius Hub. Genius Hub also needs to be powered. It has a power connection on the bottom of it and we provide you with a power supply that you can plug in. Genius Hub also has a battery backup. That makes uh, the system really resilient should there be a power cut. So if you have a power cut, uh, it's likely that therefore your boiler would stop working from a heating perspective. But the great news is, is that as soon as the power is restored, pretty much instantly the Genius Hub will be back up and running because it probably still continues to run during the power cut. Genius Hub has some useful indicating lights on the side of it. So you have green lights here on the sides, which you can then easily detect what's happening with the Genius Hub, whether it's connected to the internet and whether it has power. The location of the Genius Hub, ideally you have it in the middle of the house, but really you just plug it into your internet connection, wherever your internet connection is in the house, making sure that you keep it not immediately next to your internet router, Ideally, it'd be about one meter away from your broadband internet router. The number of components that you can add to a Genius Hub is approximately 40. So we limit it to 40 so that you can essentially control pretty much most of your home without a problem from a single hub. But at the same time, if you've got a very large home and you need to control more than 40 components, uh, then essentially you can easily add a second Genius Hub. Houses often run with more than one hub. That's very easy to do. You could put one hub upstairs, one hub downstairs, or maybe you could put one hub on the left, one hub on the right. So what I'm showing you here is a couple of options for very large houses. So the general genius hub will be able to control around 15 rooms. If you've got more than 15 rooms, not a problem at all. Split your house into two. So you could have one hub on the left, one on the right. If you have a house with say two or three floors. If you have a very tall house, so uh, a kind of city house, which is very tall, but not very wide, you might want to split your house into the top few floors on one hub and then the uh, bottom few floors on another hub. So you have two Genius Hubs, that's not a problem at all. You can seamlessly swap between them in the app. It will feel like one system, uh, but it means that you can control very large homes. So don't worry about the size of your home. The Genius Hub will definitely be able to cope. So hopefully that's everything you need to know about the Genius Hub. Thanks for watching.